Hey everybody, it's David Bott from Outside Our Bubble, and today I'm going to show you my water bay real quick, but one important thing I want to show you my water bay, that's the water sensor. Welcome to my water bay. I call it my water bays because this is where all the water that we basically use in the coach comes from. I actually have a power washer built into my motor coach, which is great. Uh, this is my water deionizer, the simple chuck unit. All the way in the back is my water softener unit, and of course, this is my filtration unit for my, my sediment filter and my carbon filter. But, because I have all this going on inside the motor home itself, inside the bay, it's very important also to have a water sensor. Now the water sensor is, is nothing more than a device that detects water and alerts you. Now there's many different types of them out there in the market. Um, some that just alert you like a smoke detector would, but others, like we needed, was our Wi-Fi enabled, which will then alert you via um, on your phone or what have you. And that's important because we couldn't hear the beeping down here of the water sensor. This is a Proteus water sensor. Um, it's a it's not cheap, again, but you get what you pay for. D-Link also has Wi-Fi ones and so does Netgear, I think. Um, but they, I, when I tested the D-Link one, it just didn't... It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. It wasn't reliable. Then I got this one, which was uh, $40 more, and it has not failed me one time. Any case, I mean, that, that's it. The water sensor is very important if you have one in your water bay because you rather know about water issues in your bay before it's too late. Because the more water that, it, that there is, the more time it has to sit, the more damage it can be done. And it's not just in the wet bay type area, because this is all plastic. It's also your main cargo bay that you want to have one also, just in case kind of thing. Because if you ever break a pipe or, or a tube or whatever and it leaks into there, you want to know it. In any case, I hope that helps somebody. And I knew I had to mention all this because I know I'd get emails of what is each one of those things. So I did. In any case, I'm Dave Bott from Outside Our Bubble, and that's why you should have a water sensor in your cargo bay. Hey, listen, if you like what we do, please click the subscribe button right there in the bottom. Right there, right there. If you haven't done so, please click that. Other than that, I'm Dave Bott. Asking you, when's the last time you got outside your bubble? We're out of here. Bye, y'all. <laughs> what strange things we talk about on this show. <laughs>